Today is Equal Pay Day, a time that marks just how far into the new year the average woman has to work to match what the average man made the year before. President Biden says March 15th is the earliest we've ever marked the occasion, which means progress has been made, but the goal is to make the day no longer necessary at all. Georgia MacArthur is standing by with a look at what it's like at one area business dominated by women, Georgia. I went to a business owned by the first female firefighter in Jessamine County. Employees there say working with mostly women in a male-dominated field has been rewarding. Women bring an interesting uh, attribute into EMS. In a prepared statement, President Biden said the earlier that equal pay day arrives, the closer our nation has come to achieving pay fairness. Currently, stats show women earn 83 cents for every dollar that men make. With EMS being a mostly male-dominated field, our pay scale is the same with men and women. And I think that's important to note. And it's based off years of experience and not, not necessarily based on their gender. Staff at the Emergency Medical Training Professional says the medical field has progressed in recent years. Devin Daniels says she looks back, she feels empowered. When you look at history and men were only allowed to be doctors and as we progressed, you know, women were allowed to work in the medical field. And now here we are, you know, medical assistants, a lot of us are female, being able to touch people's lives and make a difference. The majority of staff here is made up of women. And Elizabeth Harney believes that may make the business a little more compassionate. I think it's interesting that more females have entered into this field and it's really shown a great deal of uh, more of an empathetic approach when it comes to patient care. And also um, patients feel more likely to disclose certain information to a female versus a man. Harney hopes the business encourages other women who may feel they've reached a barrier in their career path. Moving forward, regardless of, of if it's male dominated or female dominated, you can do it. And President Biden also announced an executive order today that requires federal contractors to analyze their pay scales on an annual basis. Marvin, any money? Thank you, Georgia.